Hello and welcome back to another video here in the Lego room. Today I'm going to make good on a promise that I made in the video last Sunday. We did a short video asking for some questions for a Q&A session and today we're going to do the Q&A and I've got a list of questions in front of me that I got on various different platforms and we uh, are going to do our best to answer all of them today. Starting with user YX2 who has left two questions saying which has been your favourite set to build and uh, also what are you looking forward to building? and um, straight off the bat I'm looking forward to the UCS sale bar just coming at the start of October I plan to get that on day one been looking forward to it for a very long time I've been talking about it since about Easter time when we knew it was coming and um, yeah really looking forward to that one in terms of what's been my favorite set to build so far um, oh my goodness at the moment in the back of my mind I'm thinking about the burrow because uh, the burrow I've just recently done within the last week or so and uh, that was really fun to build and I've really enjoyed that. I really feel like I should have wrote these out rather than just sort of sliding between screenshots. Um, I feel like I wouldn't lose my place quite as often and we're only on to the second question. Third question up is from Maureen and it says is there anything you um, have found challenging to build? Yes, anything with Technic in basically is the long and short answer. Very important. I know we need Technic for loads of different things, but that's why you never see me do huge sort of cars or anything like that because it's just, it's just not achievable. I just really don't like building with Technic. I find that quite challenging. Jack from the Earl Group says, when did you start collecting Lego? And um, I also got this kind of question on Instagram story question box where I uh, sort of put the question box out there and somebody said, what started your interest in Lego? And it's kind of the same answer for both, I guess. Um, I got my first ever Lego set in 1999 at the Christmas of my parents got me the Mos, es me Mos Espa Pod Race 7171 set. Huge set, it's still a fairly decent sized set even now. But as a kid, like as an eight, seven, eight year old kid, it was like huge. And um, that was the first time I'd ever got any. And then from then we ended up getting uh, a bunch of different smaller sets as the sort of years went on. I know my brother got the Naboo Starfighter that was 1999 and I got the Droid Fighter as well. And uh, I've still got the Droid Fighter somewhere and I've still got bits and pieces from the original sort of sets all the way into 2002. Um, I remember the At Attack of the Clones sets and then you got stuff like the Final Duel. Um, I had Final Duel 1, Final Duel 2. These were like five pound boxes back in the day as well. Not even that sometimes. Um, Jabba's message as well. So those kind of sets um, all the way into 2005 where I got, um, I spent basically all of my uh, sort of money at the time on the uh, the clone tank as well as the Wookiee um, catamaran. I got those sets in sort of just after the film had come out and I sort of spent everything I had on them at the time. I sort of spoke about that in my sort of real talk mental health kind of video which if you haven't seen go and check out certainly got sort of an important message in there um that's kind of how it developed i got uh, lego harry potter in the early 2000s as well i remember going to a local sort of department store with my parents and getting uh, the hagrid's hut which was significantly cheaper back in the day even then and um yeah that's kind of how it started but i guess the essence of the question is probably to do with my love of star wars um, we went to see The Phantom Menace in 1999, me and my younger brother at the time with my uh, mum and dad, um, and I just fell in love with Star Wars straight away. Absolutely loved it. Went home and went and saw um, 4, 5 and 6 at my grandparents' uh, house over the course of a couple of different times I was there and just Love those films. As somebody who has done uh, video editing before and done and made videos for people before I even had this channel, um, which is something that I used to do, I had a real appreciation for what actually what was being achieved all the way back in the seventies with these films, and I think it's absolutely um, spectacular. It's still something I love now. I am going off on a tangent, and I'm also just in my brain. I'm like, it's two or three years away from. A New Hope being 50 years old, which is mental. That's a whole different line of um, Lego sets that we might see in uh, 2027. But yeah, um, the essence of the question is technically Star Wars. The answer to the question is 1999. And then it's been sort of, um, I'd say, constant throughout. There's probably some time in my sort of 
uh, sort of mid to late teens where I probably dropped out of uh, buying Lego and I certainly stopped for a year or two after kind of the last Jedi kind of time and then kind of got back into it during COVID like I know a lot of people did and uh, yeah it's kind of more of a constant in my life I'm also a lot more secure in who I am financially a bit more secure and um, secure in my relationship secure enough to just have this stuff and to be open and enjoy what I enjoy and I think that's got a lot to do with the fact that I've got um, a channel now where I put stuff out there for people to enjoy with me. A very long-winded answer to um, two questions there, so I don't feel quite as bad. Um, two more from the Instagram question box, and I got this from a guy um, on YouTube a couple of months ago, I remember, a regular viewer of the channel, James, so shout out James if you're watching, because I always see your comments. Um, uh, this one said Harry Potter or Star Wars, um, and I remember being asked this a couple of months ago and he was like, if you had to choose Harry Potter or Star Wars and um, I kind of answered it in the previous question, it would be Star Wars just ever so slightly. It was kind of my first love, so it probably would be Star Wars. But Harry Potter is something that I find incredibly comforting throughout my younger years and even now as an adult it's more of a staple in our household myself and mrs bricker we watch harry potter in the build-up to christmas and it's kind of got more of that sort of feel to it whereas star wars is kind of something i enjoy more on my own so my collection would suggest that it's kind of it's kind of like 75 percent star wars and maybe it's 25 percent harry potter so the collection would suggest that it's a landslide but i think it's probably it's probably just um, Star Wars and probably therefore just Lego Star Wars. And on that note, the other question on the Instagram story, where is the HP mock? I'm assuming you mean the Harry Potter mock that I keep going on about in different videos. Um, it is coming. It's already complete. It's literally above where the camera is um, now on one of the uh, one of the top shelves against the wall. It's done. It's 85 to 90 percent done. It needs a bit more detail and it probably needs one or two minifigures in it as well. Um, but I have done a video on it and I've done a video showing it from sort of end to end. Um, enough, It's done enough to the point where I will show it online. Um, it could do with some more detailing. It'll probably get some more detailing over the next sort of month or two. And then I'll probably re-release it again at Christmas so people can enjoy it and probably make it a little bit more snowy. But yeah, it's coming. It'll probably be released in a week's time on from when this video is. So maybe it's um yeah maybe next monday it'll be on the channel so make sure you're following or subscribed if you're a lego harry potter fan so you don't miss this slightly better than average mock <laughs> second to last question what is your next buy my next buy will be the ucs sale bar just coming on october 3rd um there's other little bits and pieces i want to buy but that's the next major purchase it's the one i'm really excited for and it'll probably be one of the last big purchases of 2024 and the final question, and I had to end it with this because it was my wife and she was getting involved in the Q&A. So thank you very much for getting involved in the question and answer. And she says, what is your top three sort of dream Lego sets? She always makes fun of me for saying white whale Lego sets. So um, she's definitely done that on purpose, put in dream Lego sets. Um, this one is kind of a tough one. The, the first one is pretty obvious. It's the UCS Millennium Falcon, and I hope to have that in the lego room within the next six months or so i've been slowly over the course of about a year just putting a little bit of money away at a time for a time that i can actually go out and grab it otherwise it's a very very large purchase and one that i kind of just put off because it's a lot of money but if i just chip away at it slowly we're getting to a point now where i can probably get it quite soon and if it's on sale within the next sort of couple of months before the festive season with any kind of retailers then it may well be something that we get for the channel on for the lego room before christmas ah this one is this one is tough and i'm trying to just not to just say lego star wars sets but the reality is they're mostly lego star wars sets the ATAT, the UCS ATAT, is one that I want and one that, quite frankly, were that to go in the sale before Christmas, the Falcon money might end up getting used on the ATAT because it is retiring. And I've done a retirement list video a couple of weeks ago, and I'll put the thumbnail on screen, so go and check that out after this video if you want to know which sets are retiring at the end of 2024. Um, so that's probably up there. 
I wasn't totally 100% sure on the Veneta originally. Having seen it recently without it in its glass case, just seeing it up close personal where I could physically touch it, I think the Veneta is definitely up there. It might be in the top five rather than the top three, um, but it's one that I will be looking to grab before it does retire. Um, so probably within the next year or so, another sort of larger purchase that I need to, to potentially make. There's a couple that could sort of make that top five area. The Ewok Village is something I passed up on years ago. In terms of my Lego collecting journey, I just wasn't quite... Um, in the same space I am now with collecting Lego when it came out. So that's probably why I passed up on that um, at the time. And it's obviously a huge mistake because it's like five, six, seven times the price now. So one that I would potentially like to get, but one that I just can't really justify because of the inflated price. The ATOT with dropship, that is something that I would really like. That's a tough one because I, I'm trying not to put on the list things that... I could just go out and get now because that, that would sort of defeat the point of the object. Any set that's like £150 or in that region is kind of a set that I could just go out and get. So I don't, it doesn't really go in the dream Lego set or white whale Lego set for me. Um, but yeah, some good some good sets in there as well. You know, Millennium Falcon's the main one and one that I'm absolutely desperate to get hold of. And uh, hopefully we'll see it on the channel within the next couple of months. And that is all of the questions. Thank you so much if you did get involved there was a good half a dozen people that got involved there and i did sincerely and do sincerely appreciate it and um, if you aren't already following or subscribed make sure you do so drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and we've got a ton of lego stuff coming up in the um, lego room including that ucs sale barge that's coming in just a couple of weeks time now so make sure you're following or subscribe so you don't miss any of the lego goodness coming on the channel until the next video guys have a wonderful have a nerdy week and i will see you in the very next video. Bye.